tell happened here. What are these? Feathers. White feathers everywhere. Oh no. I'm responsible for me and these. <laughs> You'll see why. You will see why. Thank you, Mr. Bodrock. So here I am with Mrs. White. Say hi, Mrs. White. Guess what she did this morning? You remember the other one? What was her name? Teresa? Well, this is Teresa's sister. And she laid an egg this morning and then she flew the coop. So you know what we do with birds like that? Oh, the reason why I knew is because Mr. Bardrock started crowing. So I came out here to talk to him. Well, then I realized that she was out. Say hi. Hi. Say hello, everybody. Look at her. Isn't she cute? What we're going to do with this bird is we're going to clip her wings, just like we did her sister. Her sister can't fly as well as she used to. She can still get up there, but it, she, it takes a lot of effort. And the reason I do that is because it's dangerous outside the coop. Let me hold her feet. So you take their, their wings, right? Hope she doesn't get loose. Maybe I should do this in the house, huh? Take their wings, hold her down. Take their wings, span them out, and cut them off. <laughs> now you don't want to hurt the bird. You just want to get as much of the wings off as possible. The secondary wings, not the first. Turn her around. Some people only do one side. I do both sides. Make sure she's down, right? Hold fan her wings out. Oh, she got an attitude. She got an attitude, baby. Don't you snatch your wings. She's like, no. Don't cut my wings. Don't clip my wings. She knows that whatever I'm doing is not gonna allow her to fly anymore. Slide down there. Make sure I don't get too close to the wick. feathers everywhere. Let me show you what she looks like. I hope you can hear me, otherwise I'll do a voiceover. But here she is. And this is White. Mrs. White's wings are clipped. Now I don't like doing this to the birds because if there's a predator in there they can fly away, but I don't want them flying out here. And these white birds, they have been doing it quite a bit. So She's the, the, the second of the three white birds that I have that I've clipped their wings. Teresa can no longer fly. Right, Mrs. White? Look at her face. Isn't she adorable? I just want to keep her alive. So she's done. She can't, she probably can't fly anymore. She can't fly more than probably this chair. So we're going to put her back in the pan. I thanked Mr. Bardrock by giving him some mealworms because I came out here to fight with him and then I see that she's out. There was a reason why he was alarming her. See, I'm holding her by her feet. That's why she's so calm. She can't go anywhere. I'm holding her, not by her feet, but by her thigh, her thigh meat. See that down there? She's squiggling. See that? She's squiggling. She doesn't like it. This bird knows me. I hatched her. I hatched this bird. Say hi, Miss, Miss, Miss White. Miss White, say hi. Now I'm tormenting her. She's full. Because I her, her um her gizzard is full of food. She didn't have to go out. She was full. She got fed this morning. Well, she got fed well. She got some oatmeal. She got some corn. What else did I? I didn't give her any mealworm because I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna give her a prize for jumping the fence or flying the coop. So let's put her back in there. See if they 
get mad at her because they're probably mad at her for bringing trouble to the cook. Then again, I gave them some mealworms, so they're probably not mad at her. They're probably happy she did that. But Mr. Barnard, when he, you know, he needed to be complimented. You know, he needed to get something for what he did because I was upstairs and I hear him making noise and he doesn't make noise. Apparently it was her. It was, she was the reason. I'm getting good at handling these birds. Oh, that was God's way of telling me not to break. <laughs> so let me go ahead before she hurts herself, okay? I'm holding her down here. Not, I'm not holding her by the skinny part. I'm holding her by her thigh meat, her leg. You know, you get that drumstick. That's where I'm holding her, the drumstick. So let's go in there with them. Hey, ladies. Hey, Mr. Bardrock. Thank you. Thank you, sir. There you go. Feed her up. I don't have any food. What's up with you, Red? Miss Bar, I don't have any food. And this is the moment where Miss NP, Miss Nasty Pants, decided to step in. Thanks. See these little, these little fans. <laughs> no, 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 because you, you were starting with me. You always pick me. You always pick me, and you thought you was gonna get away. You're full. You're dirty. Fun and games until Miss Jamaica get catches you. <laughs> look at, look at her, look at her, look at her. She's upset. She pecked me. I'm tired of you. And and she does it all the time. You're cute, but you're a little meanie. And you're dirty. You're dirty, baby. I might have to wash this bird. I might have to wash her. She's super dirty. I'm glad I caught you because you in bad shape. <laughs> All right, this one's getting a bath. This one's going inside and get some dawn on its body. It has, I mean, food, poop. These little bantams, they, they, they try to get warm and they go underneath the cochins and the cochins poop on them. There's only two of them left. Look at the wings. You're looking bad, baby. So. We going inside. Hope we don't fly away because the dogs. <laughs> Let me go ahead and so do she's this. She's a little scared because it's been a while since I gave her a bath. I've given this bird a bath before, but she is. Look at her. She is super. Dude, she's super dirty. Look at her feet. Let me hold her feet down so you can see. So I got some Dawn dish liquid. I put some warm water in here. Yes, warm water. Need a little bit more water in here. No, I don't. And we're going to soak her in here for a little while. I'll let you see it to get all of this debris off of her. This is what happens when your birds live on the bottom of the, the coop. They get super dirty. And the chicks are like this. She's still a chick. But she's a little mean chick. And she's a little dirty chick. So we're going to wash her. Okay? I think I'm going to nickname you Stinky. Hey, hey. I do not want a bath. You need a bath, not me. Rub. What is that thing? Rub a dub dub. One bird in a tub. And this is a little foot bath I got from um, Dollar Tree. She's probably wondering, what are these fuzzy things? She seems to like it. You know you dirty. And another thing about Dawn is that Dawn kills fleas. I don't know if she has fleas, but I'm sure she does if she's living at the bottom of the coop. I put diatomaceous earth down there, but she is dirty. She is full of poop. She's They pooped on her. They pooped on her. Now, she's not going outside until maybe tomorrow. It's cold out there, and I can't risk her getting sick. I've already lost one bantam, which is why I'm doing this, because... I don't want to lose another one. And filth causes disease. She'll get sick and so will the rest of the birds. What are you doing, Booboo? Okay, I know you're stressed out, but I'm just trying to help you, okay? Put your face up. Good thing. Good girl. 
just trying to help you. All right. Now, in order to, for, with dogs, she's a little cold. With dogs, ooh, look, that's a daughter away. With dogs, you have to soak them in dawn. So, okay. With dogs, for flea prevention, 10 minutes. So I'm going to do the same thing to her. This water is, I think this water is warm enough. It's about water. What are you doing? You trying to drown yourself? I don't want to live anymore. And she smells bad. The rest of them, the rest of them don't smell like this. Because I pick them up. She, I, I mean, maybe she it was a cry for help. I don't know. So I'll bring you back. Once I finish giving her her spa treatment, pick your head up, girl. <laughs> not that kind. Of, it's not a suicide mission. I don't want you drinking this Dawn liquid either. Pick your face up. There you go. I think animals know when you're trying to help them. I really do. Right, baby? Right, right, stinky? I'll come right back. Okay, so I put some warm water in here because birds have an internal temperature of about 101 and she is cold. And I need to wash this Dawn. Uh-oh. Don't slip, baby. I need to wash this liquid Dawn dish, dish liquid off of her. And as I wash her, more debris is coming off. She was really dirty. Really dirty. wonder if the brown one is just as filthy as she is because they're both down there on the ground I'm gonna have to make another roost just for now because this doesn't make any sense they'll, they'll get sick this this if this keeps up done <laughs> i'm gonna put her in a warm place and i'll talk to you in a second it's a bird husbandry day <laughs> right 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 nasty pants <laughs> wipe your feet off a little bit more all right we're gonna put you somewhere warm look at that cutie pie cutie cutie i know look at that face that's a face only a mother could love <laughs> the birds are done I need to burn documents. <laughs> this reminds me of my days in Afghanistan. <laughs> I thank you guys for being with me. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.